Shoot the ball, work the flippers, and don't tilt. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 pinball machines. Time is running out. Shoot the golden symbols. For this list, we're ranking the most iconic and beloved pinball machines from the glory days of the arcade. We won't only be including old school machines, however, as pinball games of all shapes and sizes will be included here in this ramp jumping, high scoring trip down memory lane. Can you open the trap door, cross the void, and mentally force the sphere to obey your commands? Number 10, Pinbot. Pinball was indeed all the rage during the 1980s, as evidenced by the popularity of this first machine on our list, the mighty Pinbot. This one is basically a game where the object is to send a shiny silver ball around the circumference of the solar system, starting with Pluto until finally ending up at the sun. Pinbot proved to be quite popular with gamers at the time, enough so that the machine earned not one but two sequel machines in the form of Bride of Pinbot and Jackbot. Number 9, Ripley's Believe It or Not. It's time to visit Australia. The next pinball machine on our list is based upon the classic Ripley's Believe It or Not franchise, an American institution whose dedication to exhibiting the unknown and unbelievable has inhabited radio, television, books, and even museums for over 80 years. Tiny little aliens found in Chile? Oh, well, anything is possible. It wasn't until 2004 when Ripley's turned its attention to pinball, however, developing a machine with multiple layers of play for both novice and experienced players alike. Break the magic code. This balancing act of skill levels made for a machine which managed to earn a strong fan following, despite debuting long after the pinball boom of the 70s and 80s. Number 8, The Addams Family. Jackpot! Proving that pinball was still going strong in the 90s, this pinball machine, based on the 1991 big screen adaptation of the TV show The Addams Family, is the best selling pinball machine of all time. And once again, they've managed to create a game unrivaled in terms of challenge and innovation. Indeed, over 20,000 units of this spooky and altogether ooky machine have been sold to arcades and collectors over the years, bringing with them the added bonus of custom audio delivered by the stars of the film. So it can kill you! Additionally, the multiple high-scoring opportunities, multi-ball play, and side objectives ensure that no two games of the Addams Family will ever be quite the same. That's more where that came from. Number seven, Funhouse. Stay away from the clock. If creepy dolls or dilapidated old carnivals give you the creeps, you might not want to plunk down your quarters in this classic pinball machine. Now the goal is to shoot the ball in his mouth and wake him up. Funhouse debuted back in 1990 and served as a fun throwback to the classic carnival rides of old. One unique aspect of the gameplay, however, was the fact that Funhouse came equipped with its own talking, taunting marionette head named Rudy. Rudy was voiced by game developer Ed Boon, who is also known for co-creating the equally classic Mortal Kombat alongside John Tobias, and serves as an instigator of sorts, taunting the player and keeping track of high scores. Oh, and uh, Rudy also stares creepily at your ball as it makes a way across the board, drafting up nightmares for when you go to sleep. Pleasant dreams. Ow, big deal. Number six, Revenge from Mars 3D. Fans flocked to the strobelit multiball and dancing Martian action which dominated the 1995 pinball hit Attack from Mars, but the 1999 sequel did the OG one better by being the first to take advantage of the Williams 2000 graphics system. Alien abduction. We will take this technology enabled video to be displayed atop the mechanical playing field of the machine, including targets, animation, and high scores. <laughs> Although sadly, it wouldn't be enough to save Williams from shutting down its pinball division in 1999, after the poor sales of the Star Wars Episode I machine. 
But hey, at least it's cool to see Abe Lincoln go all Mortal Kombat on a giant alien, am I right? It's your fun Number 5, Black Knight. Fans who haunted their local arcade at the early days of the pinball boom will likely remember this 80s gem, the first pinball machine of its kind to feature a multi-level playing field. And you gotta remember, this game's from 1980, so it does play a little bit slower than some of these games from the 90s. Black Knight also featured vocal effects from the knight himself, taunting the players as they navigated a treacherous landscape of targets. Fight against the enemy. One saving grace against the knight, however, was the debut of the Magna Save feature, which prevented pinballs from draining down the outside lanes, so long as the player paid proper attention and maintained control over the magnets on either side of the machine. Um, there's a lot of games that have used this feature since, including today, I think, uh, I think Stern has used that. I'm not positive, but I know Stern has done a lot with magnets. Number four, Tales of the Arabian Nights. The tale of the great camel race. Go, go. Williams' Tales of the Arabian Nights provides a fun and fast-paced gaming experience for players, as they get ready to take a magic carpet ride with this 90s pinball classic. The treasure is now before The game debuted in 1996 and was the first pinball machine to utilize magnets in an offensive manner against the player, as a diverter which would occasionally grab the ball and toss it the player's way at a moment's notice. It was unexpected additions like these which made Tales of Arabian Nights a standout pinball machine of its day. Number 3, Theater of Magic. Pinball may seem like a simple game to some, but this satisfyingly complex machine bucks that trend by offering multiple missions for the persistent player. You have the magic. Theater of Magic was a successful machine line for Bally Midway back in 1995, thanks to its increasingly challenging series of missions available for players willing to sacrifice their rolls of quarters. All of these missions involve trick shots, hitting specific bumpers, and lighting specific letters, the completion of which would lead players to the grand finale as the ultimate Theater of Magic master. Shoot for the magic trunk! Number 2, Black Hole. The runner-up pinball machine on our list is another blast from the early 80s past, when pinball culture was in the midst of a renaissance among young, eager gamers. Black Hole was not in fact based on the 1979 Disney film of the same name, but was cut from similar sci-fi cloth, taking the player through outer space and beyond in search of the ultimate high score. Black Hole was notable for a number of other reasons, however, including being the first pinball machine to feature a lowered playing field visible from the upper deck, while also being, for a time, the highest grossing pinball cabinet around town. Before we reveal our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. This is a gumball machine in the upper left corner of this playfield of the future. Now, try this. Number 1, Medieval Madness. Fire! Pinball Fever returned in a big way back in 1997 with the release of Medieval Madness, a classic Williams cabinet which is remembered fondly by legions of pinball wizards. There's a good reason for this too, as Medieval Madness not only featured a ton of trick shots and missions, but even a legit musical score and voiceover work from future 30 rock star Tina Fey as one of the kidnapped princesses. Save me, I'm getting hungry! Are you ready to destroy the castle? Can you navigate the motorized drawbridge and avoid dropping that silver ball into the moat? If so, then you just might be ready for a little medieval madness yourself. I'll drink the water. Do you 
agree with our list? Which pinball machines make you most eager to plop down all your quarters for a few spins? <laughs> for more nostalgic top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to watchmojo.com.